How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to do another quick Blender tutorial. Today's topic is about HDRI.、Uh, I assuming most of you already know what is HDRI means. It's the High Dynamic Range Image. Basically, in Blender, we usually use HDRI to help us to do a quick temporary lighting. And especially for my channel, is focusing on product rendering. And、uh, the way I use HDRI is a little bit different compared to、uh, other people's use. So as you can see here, we have a two. Different files, and they are absolutely just two separate different files. They are not really splitting the 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 windows to showing the same one. So anyway, so you can see here on the right hand side, this is the default、uh, interface or setup for Blender inside of a in here. And、uh, as you can see here, a lot of times when you finishing the、uh, solid mode and the, all this modeling stuff in here, and next step you are we are going to go to the texturing. Process okay. So if if that we can just hit the Z, and then quickly we'll have a pine menu come out. We can just kind of、like、go to the material preview, or you can just simply tap this icon over here. So as you can see here, then in the material preview,、uh, we can see a kind of like a blurry background inside, and it feels like we're inside a forest or wood. Uh, in, in some some situation, and here well, we have quite a bit set it, set up what we can do here, and、uh, as you can see, we can do actually changing all these different environment to having the different scene and、uh, to to kind of control the world opacity to see how much things in or not, and how much blurriness inside of this environment. You see now we can see all the environment for this HDR image under the material preview. Okay,、uh, I just gonna put it back to point five, so we can we can continue doing what we do here. So the things we wanna really point it out,、uh, there are a couple issues going on here with the default settings. If I go to the render view, which is this one. And there's no light whatsoever, and we have what we need to do. We need to actually go to the the world tab under the.、Uh, Shader editors, okay, and then we have to manually pump in a image, image textures, and to getting everything done like here on the left hand side in order to enable HDRI. Well, I mean, it's it's fine to just do that quickly. It's not, but it can be pretty annoying because every time when you open up Blender, you already have a pretty solid workflow that just wasting a quite a bit of time when you when you constantly go back to setting up HDRI and you wanted to use. And also another issue is that the material preview and the render. Preview. They have different lighting scenarios, different lighting setup, and、uh, it's kind of annoying because sometimes when you're working tweaking materials under the material preview, is everything looks pretty good. But if you go go to the、uh, render view and then lighting change, the material just looks different. So that's something that I want to minimize in this tutorial. Okay, and、uh, oh, uh, one last thing is going to be the under the material preview. As you can see here, we're using a forest HDRI, which is actually have a lot of、uh, yellow, greenish, minor color cast on our products for some CGI moving scenes or something.、Uh, animations is not big a deal, but、uh, for our product render images, we're looking for. The most accurate color for the, our products, so that's something the wall,、uh, the color cast we have to deal with. So without the talking too much, I'm gonna show you how to achieve what I what I have over here on the left hand side. So same thing, if I go to the solid mode, finishing all the modeling, if I go to the、uh, the material preview, click that, you can see we have some. Beautiful lighting over here already, and there there's no color cast whatsoever. As you can see here on the bottom part, this DRI image is black and white. It still have the lighting information in there, but it doesn't have any introducing any、um, unnecessary colors in there. And if I go to the、uh, render view, click that, and you can see a minor differences between the the, the lighting. I would say almost none differences. It's just because the the the, the textures.、Uh, Working a little bit different compared in the under the material tab. Okay, so as you can see here, 
there's no huge jumps. Okay, so this is what we want because when we actually doing texturing, we can using the material preview, just working on here on this tab and then quickly jump to there. And another best thing that we also can achieve after watching this tutorial, that we can just having these set at default, whenever the new Blender file, we open it up, we still can have the same lighting setup as this, and then we can start quickly building our material and start working on our, uh, on our textures uh, quickly, okay, for our product. Okay, so now what I will do here, I'm gonna open up this default one, and go back to here, I'm gonna show you step by step. All right, first, the entire models in the scene or finished models is under the solid mode. If I go to the material uh, preview and click over here, as you can see, we have quite a bit stuff going on here. So what, wh where can we find all these default HDRI? Basically, I'm just gonna show you uh, where you can put more materials or more HDRI images in there. These two are new ones. I just put it in. If I select this, this is the, the one with a little color cast. As you can see here, there's warm tone going on here. If I'm going to change that to the black and white one, there's no uh, color cast. Uh, on there. So how, how to do this? So first thing we want, we are going to, to download the HDRI. So usually, you know, where to go, the HDRI Haven. And the, what the one I using in this tutorial is called the bathroom. So you can just, just search that bathroom. And I use this one. You can just uh, download that. You can making sure the file is HDRI. Um, the next thing what you're going to do here, you're going to inload it open it up inside of Photoshop. And a little bit of tricks on a Photoshop side is that if you go to the uh, adjustment layer, there's the black and white filter is not uh, working. So you have to go to the hue and the saturation, go through there. And the, before we actually do an adju adjustment, uh, sometimes the, the Photoshop just automatically gonna change the color mode. If I go to here, image mode to the 32 bits, Per channel sometimes they don't but when you're working with hdri uh you you're probably going to need to check this making sure it's in 32 bits per channel and then we have the hue and saturation which is going to double click that to drag the saturation all the way to uh to the the other side so there's no any additional color just blank and white and then another thing because we decrease all the saturation in this image and uh, we probably needed to kind of get adding a curve just bump up the exposure and comp uh, a little bit to composite all these uh, the lighting intensity loss okay so that is good so whenever you finish all these adjustment layers you're gonna go to the file and go with the save a copy not anything else so hit that you're gonna save this as HDRI format so what we can do here we are going to go to the the folder that where you installed your blender so i installed a d drive so we're going to go here to find the blender and this is the current one i'm using is the blender 3.0 alpha so I'll click that and then we are going to go inside the folder one by one 3.1 keep clicking and the data files and then kind of come here to do the studio lights and then we are eventually going to go to the world. As you can see here, we already have something I saved up, put in here, it's cut HDR uh, format. So I'm not gonna redo it again, So, but I just let you know I can drop it in here and hit save, or I can even just save in here, uh, whatever. Okay, now when we're finished all these and save the file, we're just gonna close that Photoshop and then we are come back to the blender if you go to the material tab view So you should be able to already have this inside this uh, Preview option so you can just silly change to this and I would recommend to just kind of get the world opacity Dial all the to the zero so you don't see anything in the back. It's just a uh, less distractions uh, And also maybe blurness you can just put it to zero, depends on what you really wanted to do, okay? So the rest of these are just leave like this. But if I go to the rendered tab, it's still pretty darn dark because the under the 
the shade editors, we're gonna go here, uh, shade editors, and uh, we need to making sure we're changing this to the world, and then we can do adding uh, more images over here. So what I will do here, uh, I'm gonna click the background and gonna hit Control T to enable this uh, environment and textures over here. And uh, the reason I can gener quickly generating three nodes because I was enabled to uh, enable the add-on, it's called a node wrangler. You should just go to edit and uh, preferences and to type node, edit node wrangler and make sure you enable that. Okay, cool. So now, next we are going to use this environment textures to apply the black and white HDRI image that we just made. We could open and go to the D drive and go to 3.0 alpha, go here and uh, 3.1, keep clicking data files and we're gonna go with the studio lights and the world, okay? So we have all that saved up. So this is the additional copy one that we just made earlier and we can just pick this one, a black and white, hit open image. Now you can see here we have a HDRI image loaded up directly in here. So basically as this thing's all set, if you changing to the material preview and uh, render view, there's uh, there they are going to have the exactly same lighting, so just a little bit different on the render engines. So uh, if you say this, this is going to be the EV render and this is going to be the cycle render. Okay, it doesn't really matter, but this is what we're trying to achieve and no color cast and uh, everything looks great. And the, the very final last thing, what you're gonna do here, are you just going to uh, delete the hierarchy and everything else and go to the here, uh, go to the, the default save startup file. So in this way, everything you have done for loading everything, the, the lighting and material views is gonna save up. So next time when you uh, reopen the blender, you will have the same lighting setup uh, and to get everything ready to go. Okay, so this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you're also very interested in photorealistic product rendering, you can check out my Blender 3.0 Masterclass. The link's in the description. And uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.